Hello, and it's another episode of the Peak Signing Agents Podcast, where I'm helping you become the best notary and signing agent you can possibly be. I'm your host, DVO Derek Van Otten, and thank you once again for listening or watching another new episode. And I think this episode is going to be a banger. So if you appreciate the podcast, if you don't mind really quick going to both YouTube and whatever podcast platform is your favorite, whether it's iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, if you could just subscribe to the Peak Signing Agents podcast, please, and give a rating. Because if you give ratings on podcast platforms, and if you like it on YouTube, like the video, it will help other notaries find it. And if other notaries find this podcast, it only helps our community get better, and it just helps our community to show the value that we bring to closings, getting important documents notarized, and so forth. So if you don't mind doing that real quick, I would greatly appreciate that. That's how you can show your appreciation to me to bring these to you every single week. All right, I said this episode is going to be a banger because I'm going to be talking about what to do during down times, meaning it seems like it's a little slower at the moment for you. Have you ever had that feeling? We feel like maybe it's a little slower. Well, what do you do? Because if you have actions in place of what to do, then there are no down times. It's, there's always going to be work for you to do. And I've got my notes here of some, some things I've written down. But I think it's important to, to realize down times are you not working. All right, because a lot of us think working is actually doing the signing, doing a closing, going to someone's house and notarizing a document. And yes, that is working. That is a that is a big part of us working. But if there's downtimes, that means you're not working. So you should be working at all times. And maybe you think, well, what should I be doing? I've done everything I can. Well, I'll try to bring you some more value here on what things that you can and maybe should be doing because what you do today will feed you two to three months from now. Let me repeat that. The actions that you do today will feed you two to three months from now. The impact will happen at a future time. So we are and I don't, I shouldn't say we, experts are are estimating that we might get, be getting another refinance boom. Maybe not as big as, as the COVID refinance boom when interest rates were at the lowest it's ever been. But people have normalized the market at 8 9%. And they were still buying and selling. My company stayed busy. We, were, we stayed busy this whole time. And we did have moments of slowness or of downtime, and I put in action. I put in work so that down the road, we continue to stay busy. So if you want a huge chunk of the business that might be coming soon, the actions you do today is where you'll be. Because as interest rates are going down, people are now applying for refinances. We won't, someone applying today for refinance, that closing might not happen until three, four, six, eight weeks from now. That's what I'm saying. The actions you do today will feed you in the future. So what should you be doing? You should be telling everybody what you do. Let's do the obvious. What should you be doing when you're slow or during downtimes? You should be contacting as many signing services as possible, letting them know who you are, where you're from, what what value do you bring. Don't just say, I'm a notary and I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, great. Bring some value. What value do you bring? Are you bilingual? Are you RON? R-O-N. Remote online notarization, just in case you don't know what a RON is. I'm not saying your name is RON, but are you a remote online notary? Are you bilingual, like I said? Are you full-time? Do you have a mobile printer, mobile scanner? What value do you bring? Don't just say, hi, 
My name's Derek. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm here if you need me. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Derek. Bring some value, okay? There's a ton of notaries in Salt Lake City. What value do I bring to separate myself from everybody else? Does that make sense? And if you want to know what signing services you should be contacting, you should become a part of the loan signing system. There's a link in every episode. They sponsor the episode. Become a, become a student. Learn more, a lot more information. There's a ton of information accessible 24 hours a day. And there also is a list of 300 signing services. I've, I've done an episode about this. Okay, there's a list there for you. You can start contacting them. Email them. Phone call follow-up. That's what you should be doing during downtimes. If you want to market direct, great. Go market direct. Go into the title companies. Go into the mortgage companies. Go into real estate offices. Start introducing yourself. Leave your car. Do some follow-ups. Follow-up phone. I mean, I personally, when I'm going to walk in and market myself, I'm walking in personally. I want them to see my face. I want them to see my smile. I want them to feel my handshake. I want them to see my confidence that I will do a great job for them. And then I'll do a follow-up 24 to 48 hours later. Again, I've done episodes on these. Go back to previous episodes. During downtimes, keep keep watching or listening to previous episodes while you're driving, while you're in the shower, while you're doing yard work. These are the things you should be doing. I got some more notes here. What else should you be doing? Going to open houses. Saturdays. You ain't doing anything. Go to open houses. All right, go find out where open houses in your area. Go visit them. Go talk to the real estate agent. Say, hey, do you need some? Just bring a case of water. Just bring a case of water. Bring a tray of cookies, whatever. And just be like, hey, I say, oh yeah, open house. Thought maybe I'd help. I brought something for you. Don't you don't mind? Maybe for your for your for your clients, your potential clients. I'm I'm a mobile notary, so I'm I'm familiar with the real estate world. So I get maybe uh, you might need some help. So here I am. What's your name? What office are you from? What real estate company do you work with? That's fantastic. Start building a relationship. What title companies do you use? What title companies do you prefer? Start talking to them. If you build a good good rapport with each other, or you can say, hey, do you have another open house? Maybe I can help you with next week. You know, don't just go in for the kill. Don't just go in for the sale right away. Maybe build a relationship. And then maybe ask, hey, so what title companies is it that you like to use again? Do you mind if I go in there and maybe drop your name a little bit just so I can introduce myself? Maybe I can help your clients that, that are buying. Maybe maybe they're only available on the weekend. The title company's closed. I, I, I'll be happy to help do the closing for you and your clients. Go to open houses. Build relationships with real estate agents. Does that make sense? Are you going to networking events? There are a ton of networking events that you should be going to. Are there open houses with the uh, title company? They open up a new ha- uh, new office. Are you gonna, are you going into those? Are they holding continuation classes? Are you just going there just to introduce yourself and meet meet some of the people there? And just just go and go learn from the continuing education classes that they provide. A lot of title companies provide free continuing education to real estate agents because real estate agents are required to do continuing education. And it's just I mean it's just open. You can just go walk in there and just go into those. And you start, you're going to start meeting real real estate agents. You start meeting title people, escrow officers, escrow assistants. You're going to start meeting these type of people. This is a great way to start networking. Real estate agents hold networking events all the time because they're trying to network. They're trying to get new clients. They're trying to get new mortgage companies, new title companies. They're trying to like learn everybody, know everybody. There's a ton of networking and then, and then just random networking events that you can go to and just and just say, hi, my name is Derek. I'm a mobile notary and I'm looking to connect with mortgage professionals, whether they're they're in title or they're the lenders or they're in real estate. They're, they're the agents. Here's my card. If you know anybody, if you want to introduce me to anybody, go to networking events. Tell everyone what you do, who you are. Get in front of as many people as you can. Host lunching events. Again, real estate offices, they have continuing education or they're doing trainings and they're looking for someone to sponsor a lunch. 
host a lunch. Find out. Say, hey, do you do you ever have like luncheon lunch luncheon events with your agents? Do you need someone to sponsor one of those? I'll be happy to do that. I'll go pick up lunch from you know a local sandwich shop or a bakery nearby. I'll provide that. And then they usually will give you 10, 15 minutes to talk a little bit as well. To to, to say thank you. Now's your sales pitch time. Are you getting value from this? Is opening your mind to new things? If it is, again, please go and subscribe, follow YouTube and podcast platforms. And if anyone you know is complaining that it's a downtime, say you need to listen to this episode and share it. I got more for you, though. We're not done yet. All right. Other things you should be doing during your downtimes. I'm talking right now. I've just talked about introducing yourself, getting out there, exposing yourself out there. But other things you should be doing during your downtimes is self-improving. Are you working on your sales skills? When you're self-employed like we are, we should be learning sales and marketing. Are you reading books on sales and or marketing? Are you listening to podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube videos from sales professionals and from marketing professionals? Are you learning how to be better on social media? Are you learning how to have a better presence? What you should, what types of um, videos or reels or posts you should be making? Are you practicing your sales skills? Why should you say what you say when you go in and do a sales pitch? When you're walking into a mortgage office, a title office, a real estate office, what are you saying? Are you practicing this? Are you practicing it, not just practicing it, but over and over and over a hundred times, a thousand times while you're driving in the shower, doing yard work, riding your bike, going on a walk, getting exercise, going to the gym? Are you practicing your sales pitch? I practice my sales pitch all the time. I practice my marketing follow-up emails all the time. I think about my social media all the time. These are things you should be doing. If you're doing everything I'm talking about, there are no downtimes. Downtimes are you being lazy. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings. Being an entrepreneur, being self-employed is tough. You need to have tough skin. If someone says something that hurts your feelings, you're not being tough enough. I'm sorry. And people will say things that hurt your feelings. That's just part of being in business. It happens. You need to have tough skin. You need to be tough on yourself. Not too tough, but I'm just saying, hey, you know what? You need to tell yourself, I'm being lazy. Why am I slow? Because I'm not taking action today. You need to tell yourself this. This is why I tell myself. That's why there are no downtimes. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have anything going on right now. Well, what should I be doing? Should I be sleeping in? Should I be running errands? Should I be going grocery shopping? No. I should be out working. Monday through Friday for me is work. I am working. I'm finding things for me to do to stay busy. I'm not just staying busy to stay busy. I am growing my business. What have you done in the last hour to grow your business? Ask yourself this frequently. What have I done in the last hour to grow my business? Did I walk in somewhere? Am I listening to to? information that will just feed me and uh, feed my brain, I'm saying. Remember, the actions you take today is what will feed you one, two, three months from now. So that means if you're bu- if you're not busy now, that means you weren't doing anything last week, last month, two months ago. You were doing nothing. You weren't growing your business in some way. Maybe you didn't know how, so that's why you're here. So good for you. Now you've got some tools. Now you've got new information of what you should be doing to be growing your business. I want you to grow your business. I'm not putting this podcast out here to say you're a lazy ass and you need to get your ass to work. I'm not saying that. I am saying here are some things. You're probably wondering what it is that you should be doing. Here's that information. I just posted on my social media that 
I just finished my last scheduled treatment for my cancer diagnosis. Radiation and chemotherapy are currently finished. We'll see if I don't have to go back. I hope I don't have to go back for any more treatments, but the scheduled treatments are finished. During this time, going through radiation and chemotherapy, you could say I've got some excuses not to work as hard. I get tired easy. It takes a lot out of you going through this treatment. I'm hungry all the time. I'm trying to feed my body all the time. A lot of times I'm thinking about where am I going to eat next because my, my body is basically running a marathon and, and, and I, get, I get hungry. And during this time, I'm out doing closings. I'm out marketing. I've attained, since my diagnosis in March, and now we are in October, I have attained, I don't know, six to 10 new clients during that time. We are busy. It's because it was the actions I was doing. I, I didn't make excuses for myself. I could have made excuses and some would say, those are legitimate excuses. You're fighting cancer. And I said, no, getting cancer is the reason why I want to grow my business. I want to say, hey, I need to leave a legacy behind for my family. If I'm not around, I can have a business that will still provide for my family. Does that make sense? If I'm not around anymore, I have a business that will still be providing for my family still, even when I'm gone. The business can continue. My family can still run the business because of the work that I put in. I put in that work. No one else did. I put in the work. You need to put in the work for you and your family. No one's going to do it for you. You've got to do it. And you can do it. I believe you can do it. I want you to win. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to fail. I don't want you to quit and say, this doesn't work. It's not working out for me. It's not as busy as I thought. You have to put in the work and you can. I know you can. If I can do it, believe me, you can do it. There are a lot of times where I didn't want to do it. I had to take naps during, the, I never take naps. During chemotherapy, I have to take naps in the middle of the day. I'm just exhausted. Sometimes going up the stairs and just doing some things around the house and I get beat. I'm just, I'm just exhausted. Going grocery shopping, it pff, knocks me out. I got to go take a nap. It's just too much walking for me. But I didn't let it just hold me down. It was, let me take a power nap, back to it. Put a timer, wake up. Go do another closing. That's what I was doing. I wasn't letting anything stop me. Neither should you. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from winning. Business is a marathon. It's the long run. You have to be thinking about the future. What I'm doing today is the actions that will come forth a few weeks, a few months from now. The actions you do today. And it can't just be one time. It's got to be continuous. All the time, putting in action, putting in work, self-improving, listening to audiobooks, practicing your sales pitch, practicing your marketing emails, follow-ups. All right? Your elevator pitches when you go to networking events. These are things you should always be working on and that you won't have down times. You won't have slow times. You'll just be busy making money and providing great service as always. Keep being awesome. I hope this helps you. No excuses. Throw excuses out the window. Get to work. You rock. I'll catch you on the next episode.